Hi. Recently I was asked about the difference between a return, an in-service, an in-use, or damaged item in inventory. And to start out with, we're going to create a return in sales order processing and we're going to put an item back in the status of return and then follow it through the process. So I have a return started here for Advanced Paper Company and I'm going to do a look up on the item and find the 3D printer here it is okay and I'm going to return one now when you do a return in sales order processing and also as of GP 2013 when you do a return in returns management and field, uh, field service series you're going to get asked this question about what you do with it do you put it back on hand so it's available to resell? Do you make it returned or put it in the status of returned, in use, in service, or damaged? So what's the difference between these? And the difference is if you put something on hand, it's available to sell right away. If you put it in any of the others, it's not part of your available inventory. However, it is part of your inventory valuation, so you have to do something with it. So what, what are they used for? returned. People will normally put something as a return status if they want to evaluate it and look over it before they make it available to sell. So if you get this printer back from this customer and you want to take a look at it to make sure there's nothing wrong with it and all the parts are there so before you make it available for resell then you could put it in a status of return and then move it later and that's what we're going to do. In use and in service, well you're going to need to define your own rules for what these are. An example of some of them might be maybe in use is you're going to use it in-house internally. So we're going to use this printer internally. We want it to stay part of our inventory evaluation, evaluation and not as an asset that we're using because perhaps we're going to resell it later. Or in service might be what our salespeople are carrying around with them as samples. Or maybe you'll use those samples for in use and in service you'll put items that you're in the process of repairing. So they've been received back, they need a little bit of work done to it, you're going to repair it and then maybe you'll resell it as recondition. And damage just means it's flat out broke, it ain't going to work anymore and you're going to trash it um, as soon as is available to you. So then you'll purge it out of inventory and then um, basically scrap it. So in this case we're going to do the return right here and I'll click on OK and let's post this. And I'll close this out, cancel my reports and let's go to inventory. So under inquiry we're going to look up that 3D printer Okay, so now you can see we have a sold a negative one because we never had the sale of one on our books, but we have one in a status of returned. So what is our available on hand? Zero. We have nothing left that we could sell, but we do have that one out there. So what are we going to do with it? Let's see. It should be in the warehouse. There it is. Yep. So now we've looked over the printer and it's in good shape. We want to make it available to resell. So what we're going to do, close that out, is so we'll do an inventory transaction. We're going to actually transfer it. So we're not going to do a normal transaction. We're going to transfer it. And the site will be from warehouse to warehouse. And we have our item number. And if you want to use uh, the new reason codes in 2013, you can. The cool thing about them is they'll actually use a GL account specific to the reason. So we're going to just transfer one. Now you can transfer from warehouse to warehouse. You're going to get this error message. So what you're going to do is you want to change the quantity type because we're going to keep it in the warehouse, but it is no longer a status of returned. It will now be on hand available to sell. I'll click OK. The distribution types are are set to zero because they're, they're using the same distribution and I will post. So the net effect in GL is nothing happened. But if we go back and pull up that card, or that item, you can now see we have one available to sell, one on hand, and the return just back to zero. And so now I could go through and sell this, I have one I can sell. 
I hope this gives you a little bit clearer explanation of what some of the differences are. The biggest thing to remember, if it's under return, in use, in service, or damaged, it's sitting in your inventory value, but it is not anything that you have available to sell within the system. So you want to make sure you monitor those on a regular basis. I hope this helps. Thanks.